Number one is know, know your world, know your stuff, know your current affairs, know your social issues. Um, sometimes it may feel like too much pressure to know everything. Know as much as you can about different topics and then zero in on the one that you're really passionate about. So if you love business, start reading Business Daily and reading everything else pertaining to business. So know, have your knowledge and information because that's the one thing that will take you far. Number two, is begin to practice your diction and pronunciation. Um, whether it's in Swahili, whether it's in your vernacular, and whether it's in English, because you need to choose. Do you want to be a Swahili broadcaster or a you know, vernacular or English? Whatever it is, begin to practice. You'd be surprised how much English you can forget. <laughs> so you almost need to just remind yourself, expand your vocabulary so that you're a bit more competitive. and because if you're used to speaking Sheng or whatever, it can interfere with your delivery. So really begin to practice, practice, practice on your pronunciation, your diction and everything. Number three is appearance wise, it's important to just, just be neat. <laughs> We're not even asking for much. You don't have to be a bombshell, you don't. But it matters because you're presenting yourself. And I'm really talking about television, so I don't want to go too much into others. Let me focus on television. You have to be presentable because you are showing yourself to the world. So if you're the kind of person who has tons of piercings and tons of tattoos, you may need to tone down and scale it back. If, it's, if you've got you know, sleeves in terms of the tattoos, wear your long sleeved shirt. If you've got piercings, you need to just go back and just be neat and presentable because at the end of the day, we still have an audience that's generally a bit old school, so they wouldn't really be too keen on seeing you um, all over the place, especially if you're going into news. Your social media is your footprint, so keep it clean. <laughs> um, really, just have a clean nose, ha be very careful about what you post, what you say, because the moment you are a broadcast journalist, you are representing an entire media house. So what you say and what you do could greatly and gravely affect an entirely massive brand. So begin to practice the art of not oversharing, not doing <laughs> Insta stories when you're passed out in the club. It's really not necessary if you want to be taken seriously in the field of broadcast. So keep a clean slate as far as you can. You're human, doesn't mean you can't party, but just keep it clean. And number five, I think, is watch a lot of other news and media houses. A lot. Watch a lot of your, you know, um, CNBCs and BBCs and Al Jazeera's and CNNs and Sky News and take a look at what's been done across the board. How are these people presenting the news? How are they writing? How are they interviewing? Because interview skills are very important in this day and age, as well as ad lib, meaning a story breaks. We've had a lot of breaking news over the last two weeks and you put on the spot and you have to go live. Um, and you can't just sit in front of a screen and go, um, and you can't always wait for someone to give you the information. So make sure you have that skill of knowing how to do a live report, knowing how to conduct an interview. And you can only know that by watching it a lot. So never tire of watching news, so that by the time it's your turn, you have an idea. It's like doing your homework. Yeah, so I think those are the five tips.